YouTube. This is Felicia with Bible Scraps. Okay, I am back, you guys, with a fun tutorial. Some of you may have seen my tutorial years ago or you've watched one of my mini videos where I talk about ribbon paper. Some of you have inquired. Um, I've been creating Christmas tags the last couple months and I have referenced using ribbon to create my gingerbread clothing. Well, I am back with another tutorial. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show three different ways you can make ribbon paper. And I'm using my top three different products to create the ribbon paper. And you see it here. In this video, we are going to make these three different sheets of ribbon paper and I'm so excited because I hoard ribbon not just the ribbon at the local craft stores but if you guys follow me you know I talk about these large 50 yard spools of ribbon that I get from my favorite store Costco and from Sam's Club I'm not going to share how many rolls of this ribbon I have because it's ridiculous. So anyway, if you're interested in learning how you can make ribbon paper because you can do so much with it, you guys, you do want to subscribe because I have more tutorials coming your way. But you definitely want to watch this video and why not stop and like right now. OK, let's get started. All right, to get started, choose your paper. Well, you'll get varied looks depending on your ribbon and your color of paper. I am using this paper I picked up from Walmart. It's a craft color. It's a thinner, it's a thinner cardstock. I like it. I hope Walmart still carries this. Um, I haven't checked in a while. Now you can use any size paper you like. It all depends on how much ribbon card stock you need. This particular paper has this edge here that I'm tearing off. Now, what type of adhesive do you want to use? Now, there's a number of different options available. But first, let me state what you don't want to use if you are creating a large sheet of ribbon paper don't use a glue stick it will work but the thing about glue sticks is um you can spread it unevenly you can have well you can have blotches in certain areas and if you don't have a nice spread even spread of glue you risk the glue seeping through your ribbon and you can fill it even you know, once you smooth out your ribbon on your adhesive paper with the glue, it seeps through. It can be kind of messy. So I don't recommend the glue stick for a larger sheet of ribbon paper, but I do use it when I'm making small sheets. Now, my top choices, well, and I've used all of these three options. You can use spray glue. Yeah, at one point, well, I used it quite, quite a bit. But you do have to spray with open ventilation, protect your surface and all that. If you don't want to be bothered with that, you can use your Xyron machine, which I have already sent this sheet through the Xyron machine. That works. But you may not have a Xyron machine, right? And if that's the case, what you then can do is... You could use double-sided adhesive. I will have this particular width linked below. Now, I have double-sided adhesive sheets, too, in different sizes, all the way up to an 8.5 by 11 inch. And you know what? I just thought of something else. I have a very large roll of adhesive, but I've never tried that. Hmm. Okay, so... You want double-sided adhesive. This width is, I think, it's two to three inches. So I've cut my eight and a half by 11 inch paper down into two sheets. Okay, now it's the fun part. It's the ribbon, right? You guys, I hoard this stuff. I will not tell you how many of these rolls. These are the huge rolls. These rolls come from Costco. Well, I get mine from Costco and Sam's Club. Speaking of Costco, 
I will have my first live video <laughs> from my all-time favorite store, which is Costco. <laughs> I will share what's in like all the Christmas decorations, including the ribbon. Now, my Costco's used to have this ribbon available twice a year, spring and and um, Christmas. But Costco has downsized a lot of ribbon. I only see it now at Christmas time. Maybe select stores have have it twice a year. I have three Costco's in my neck of the woods. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm cutting down the ribbon. Now you can have fun with this ribbon, you guys. You can you can um, create ribbon paper with the with different types of ribbon. I I'm using the same print and if you don't know, well Costco has these large rolls. You can get 50 yards of ribbon, you guys, and they have they have a nice collection this season. You'll see you'll see it in my upcoming live video. Okay, so I've cut this down. Isn't this so pretty? This will make Okay, if I didn't mention this earlier, you guys, I I'm going to use my ribbon paper to die cut out gingerbread clothes. That's what I love to do. I've been doing it for years. Okay, so what I like to do is take out the wire, which is real easy to do. I take out the wire because when I'm die cutting and if I'm die cutting using the wafer thin die, it might be a problem cutting through that wire. Now you can leave this edge on if you like, or you can use your scissors and cut it off. I like the look of the edge sometimes. So for this particular ribbon paper, I'm gonna leave it on and I'm gonna use this double-sided tape. Once again, I'll have it linked below and I'm gonna line up my tape just like that. And where are my scissors? Okay want to use the appropriate scissors okay so I've added two strips of this tape and what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is trim off the excess and remove the liners now what I've done in times past is I've used my um, smaller width tape and added a strip there but for now I'm just gonna hey so you guys you can add your ribbon now or keep this for future use. So now I'm gonna peel back the liner and it's easy to lift up just like that. Okay, I have my liner removed and now I'm going to add my ribbon just like this. And you guys, I have just made a sheet of ribbon paper. <laughs> I love it. Now I can, you know, why not? Let's clean this up. And you know, I'm thinking in this video, I might want to do, um, use my spray just to compare, compare the three together. Okay. Take a look at that. You guys, this is so cute. Okay. So when you die, if you use this to die cut out, whatever shape you're going to die cut out, just know that you can die cut in different orientations, but I like that. Okay, so I've cut the Xyron paper down into two strips. I'm gonna use my oversized bone folder to smooth it out. And now we're gonna use this candy cane ribbon. This time though, I want to cut off the trim. Really easy to do. I'm using fabric scissors, but I've used regular scissors too. This ribbon, it's not as stiff, but the nature of ribbon, to me, it's, it's easy to cut. So I also keep these. You can make bowls with these. You can tie these around um, or use them as string for your tags. Do not toss these. I think this ribbon also had, yeah, it had wire in it. Well, I left the wire in. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is remove the liner sheet from the Xyron adhesive. And you do want to make sure 
your adhesive is stuck to your paper. Love my Xyron machine. I need to use it more. So I feel that the adhesive is there and make sure you use the top side of your ribbon. Sometimes it could be hard to tell. Okay, I think this is the top side and just lay it down just like that. Now this is where the color of your cardstock can show through. This ribbon is transparent and I don't mind that it's not lined up totally right. Well, you know what? Let's lift it up. You can see it came up really easy with the Xyron. I think my double stick tape is stronger than Xyron's. This might be, well, I might have the semi-permanent or the repositionable cartridge in my, in my machine right now. So I do want to go back and add, you know, let's just do this. Let's do this. Let's apply this down with, with that edge because I don't want to lose <laughs> that much of my adhesive. Okay, and then I'm going to trim this up and I'll be back. All right, you guys, I have a box because I'm going to use the spray adhesive. This is tacky spray. I don't know if this is the spray I used in times past, but I'm thinking it should work. So I'm going to give it a good coating, a good spray. And then this time, well, because it is fall, y'all. It is fall, y'all. I am going to use fall ribbon. And I hope I have enough adhesive laid down. And I've kept the wire and the edging. So... I do feel a tack and smooth it out and I'm going to clean up the edge and I'll be back. All right, you guys. <laughs> okay, this is the fall ribbon. I also got this from Costco. Isn't that beautiful? Fall is my favorite season. All right, you guys. This is my ribbon paper done with uh, the double stick tape. This is the ribbon paper done with the Xyron machine. And this is the ribbon paper, which you can see here. I have more spray, but that's okay. This was done with the clear spray. Now, what you can also do, you can sew ribbon strips together. But I like to add the paper backing because it die cuts really easy. So I'm using all of these print for die cutting, making clothes for my gingerbread people. Now, if you love gingerbread, you need to subscribe because I got a lot more gingerbread projects coming your way. And if you subscribe, you'll be, well, you'll know when I upload a video using these particular sheets of ribbon paper. Okay, you guys, if you like this video, why not like it? Give me a big thumbs up. Once again, subscribe. Feel free to share this video. If you decide to adopt my idea, I only ask for proper credits. Do give shout outs and do link back to this tutorial and check out my Etsy shop. I'll have that link below if I don't forget because I have vintage craft ribbon bundles available right now and I have more to add, but I'm also going to have a more current, more current ribbon bundles, including haha, some gingerbread ribbon. Okay, like, subscribe, share, comment, and I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.